Good evening, San Bernardino. I'm very excited to be with you tonight. And I wanted to stop in real quick because we have a meeting coming up tomorrow. And there are just a couple of things that I want to go over. I know there's a you know couple items, but I really think there are two major issues. So let me make sure that our stream is up and you guys can see this won't be on super long. So I'll give it a minute or two. I hope everybody is doing well out there. It was a nice rainy weekend and now it is going to be hot this week. So, okay, let's see. Okay, yes, we are live. So, all right. The two items that I want to bring up really quickly. The first is, as if you guys haven't heard or if you saw the post, that Steve Kerrigan from the city of Salinas has pulled out as the next city manager. He was offered the position. And um, what that means is there is no one in the running right now. So I real quick want to recap on this because I think it's really important. I've been reading um, some news articles and hearing the city attorney give um, a rundown at the last meeting. So as everybody heard, like there were 70 candidates and there was a narrowed down process and blah, 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 blah. And Steve Kerrigan ended up getting offered the position. That is not entirely true. And I don't want the community to forget, as it sometimes does, Steve Kerrigan was not the most qualified candidate. There was another candidate who was highly qualified. And that candidate withdrew before Steve was picked. Uh, that was, we saw um, posts coming out that that candidate had been sabotaged. And it was only after that person pulled out that Steve was left and through um, different conversations <clears throat> throughout the Inland Empire, it's been discussed that other candidates had withdrawn. Steve wasn't even in the top running uh, for a contender. It was really like, here's, here's a resume and here's someone that's still interested. So in my opinion, well, this is this is a good thing. We are not missing out. I don't believe from looking at Steve's history in Salinas that he would have all been prepared to been a part of our city to lead us to where we need to be. And um, in that reflection of his own, he fell in love with his city and that's where he's decided to stay. So happy for him, better for us. But what does that mean? Well, the recruitment for the city manager is still on for closed session tomorrow at 5.30. I have said it before, I'll say it again. The community needs to be involved in the process. There needs to be a panel of finalists that sit before us and, and answer questions and let us hear what they have to say about their hopes, dreams, and, and, and work they want to do for our city. Now is the opportunity tomorrow night to speak to that. I do not believe that a majority of the council and mayor have the best interests of our community at heart in this decision-making process because of what has transpired with the first and most qualified candidate pulling out and them not stopping the process and trying to find out what happened and then moving forward with the, a lesser qualified candidate instead of stopping. The most important thing, and it's been said by our, our other council members, is keeping the city stable, making sure that there are no super drastic changes that are going to shift the city left or right again. If you think the work is done because Steve Kerrigan has pulled out, you're wrong. The work is just beginning. If you believe that the process needs to start over, which I do, then come speak to that. If you want to make sure that um, Charles McNeely stays in place and keeps steering the ship until a new recruitment can come along, then you need to come say that. If uh, you want 
this process to move in any other direction, you need to come say that. Do not rely on the council to just think what the community would want because we're seeing that that is not true by a majority of them, okay? So that's why I wanted to uh, speak on to this. So this is closed session 5.30. Hi, Scott, thank you for joining. And then the other issue that is on the agenda is the Oxbow, which really just comes down to crushing and grinding in the city. Now, I've gone over the backup material for this. The community is being gaslit once again, and it is so utterly frustrating. All of this came about because John Valdivia was receiving political contributions, and there was a deal made to dump a burned up warehouse at the top of Palm and Kendall. Nowhere, and this needs to be said because in the backup material, we're being misled, this was never discussed to come and be crushed and grind on site. The city never issued a permit. In fact, I need you guys to be fully aware, never in the history of the city of San Bernardino has a building been allowed to be crushed or grind on site. Every demolished building has been removed and taken to a proper processing plant. Now, right now, they are trying to pretend like the Carousel Mall is not violating the resolution that was put into place that restricted grinding and crushing within a thousand feet of a residence. Understand, there is zero provision in our municipal code that allows for crushing and grinding anywhere in our city. The only discussions about uh, crushing are from recycled facilities. The Carousel Mall does not qualify. What the Planning Commission has said and worked on for over five months was that this city could never put a policy in place in the municipal code that could ever guarantee the safety of the residents. And so, because they know they cannot keep the residents safe by allowing this, they want to fully iterate that this will remain a restricted operation. You, they do not want crushing and grinding anywhere in the city. No more consideration done. The Planning Commission agreed on that in March. It's October, and that has not been brought forward. And there's a reason. There are there is a pay to play. It's just a hundred percent, you guys, that anybody that wants to allow crushing and grinding is going to be paid off because there is no benefit to the community. They could very and you will hear the, the council. I can hear Theodore Sanchez now. Oh, well, developers, they won't want to come here. That's not true. We know that's a lie because one, no one has ever been allowed to demolish a building and crush it and grind it in the history of our city. And two, they were just touting the record that the last 18 months was the largest amount of money and pooled permits the city had seen in a decade. So we are having people coming here buying building with, without being able to crush and grind on site. What you do see is that they, if the mall right now cannot be crushed on grind on site, and if they don't change the ordinance, you're going to see the cost of that mall demolition skyrocket because it was a sham that they said you could do it for $7 million when everybody was $10 million over that and no one else had been told that they were going to be allowed to crush and grind. So I just, I don't want the wool pulled over our community's eyes. And I am hoping that the council speaks to this, but again, the public needs to show up. If you live next to Oxbow, if you live in the downtown or really anywhere in the city, it's been said that if they pop the lid off of the carousel mall, allow the crushing and grinding with any asbestos, which is in the deeper material, it'll be like blanketing the entire city. It's not a one person fight. It isn't a ward fight. This is an entire community issue. So, these are the two biggest things that I, I think is, is worthy of showing up for if, if they matter to you. But please do not rely on the majority of our elected officials 
to have our best interests at heart because it's not being reflected in their vote. And it's really sad to see. So what is the solution? Voice your concerns, come to the meetings, come together. Uh, this is about the city of San Bernardino. This is about the residents, you and me and your neighbors, your children, your parents. We matter. And because we matter, we have to show up like we matter. Democracy depends 100% on the population taking their place within it. And just because you've elected someone to sit on a dais doesn't mean that your interests are at the forefront. So please come tomorrow if you can. Um, call, you can, if you can't make it, you can request the Zoom uh, public comment. You can put your comments into writing. You can email the council, but it is 100% on you. Do not rely on anybody else to show up for you. This is, this matters. So thank you guys. Short and sweet to the point. That's what we've got going on. The two biggest issues, but you can always check out the rest of the agenda at sbcity.org or just city clerk city agenda. So uh, go ahead and check that out. I will see you at the meeting tomorrow. You guys have a good night. Thank you.